you, Mr. Chairman. And I move to strike the last word. I'm in total support of this amendment. I know it's not a surprise to you or to the other members because I'm a pro-life conservative woman that cares about protecting the lives of innocent babies. And um, so I, I heard a couple of my Democrat colleagues say, this is just a red herring. I'm sorry, to me, this is not a red herring. This is talking about funding abortions, which take away innocent lives. That's not a red herring to me. Um, another one of my Democratic colleagues said, look, this package has to do with COVID. Exactly. I totally agree with you. So why wouldn't you want to agree to an amendment that says you're not going to for, uh, fund abortions with this COVID money? I mean, if it truly is for COVID relief and the crisis that was caused by COVID, why would you want to fund abortions with it? This makes no sense to me. I totally support uh, Ms. Rogers, Mrs. Rogers' amendment. And I really, uh, again, say that if you truly want unity and you truly want bipartisanship, then you would agree to this amendment because you know that this is important to Republicans. You know it is. You know that this is a poison pill. And so thank you, Mr. Chairman.